Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to add multi-factor authentication for the IAM user we created in the last lecture. To start, I want you to log in as your IAM user. So not the root user, but the IAM user you created in the last lecture. So once you've logged in as the IAM user, I want you to type IAM up here. Type IAM and select IAM and it should bring you to this IAM dashboard. And remember what we said in the last lecture, the IAM dashboard contains the summary of all your IAM resources. Currently, I'm logged in as my IAM user. And when I come to the IAM dashboard, you can see there is a warning sign here. AWS wants me to add multi-factor authentication for this IAM user. To add multi-factor authentication for this IAM user, it is the same way we add multi-factor authentication for our root user. So to start, we are going to click add MFA. Once you click add MFA, it is going to open my security credentials for that user. So on this page, I want you to scroll down and here you'll see multi-factor authentication. Click assign MFA device then it is going to be a virtual mfa device click continue once you are on this page i want you to open the google authenticator app on your phone then you are going to click the plus sign then you are going to click scan a qr code then once the camera opens i want you to click show qr code up here and scan it once you scan it you're going to see a set of number the first number I'm seeing here is 069318, but I'll wait for that number to end and I'll just use the next one. So the new number is 970101. So I've entered that number here. I'm going to come to the next one and I'll just wait for this number to change. So the number has changed and the second set of number is 356324. Then I'm going to click assign MFA. And there you go. We have successfully assigned our multi-factor authentication. So I'm going to close it. Now that we have enabled multi-factor authentication for this user, if I sign out and I sign back in, AWS is going to ask me for my multi-factor authentication. So let's test that. I'm going to sign out. And I'm going to log back in and it has already filled in my account ID because I signed in last as an IAM user. So it remembered my account ID. Just in case if you don't see your account ID here, remember what we did in the last lecture, the easiest way to sign in as an IAM user is to use the URL link. So open your CSV file, copy your URL link, then come back here and paste it there press enter and it is going to bring you to this page and populate your account ID. Now you can enter your IAM user's name. I'll enter my IAM user's name and the password that I created. Once I enter my password and press enter, now it is asking me for the multi-factor authentication code. So I want you to open your Google Authenticator app again. And in your Google Authenticator app, you will see your IAM user at the account ID. So you want to enter any code you see in there. I'll wait for this code to change. Once this code change, I'm going to enter the next code. So the next code I'm seeing here is 648371. And I'm going to click submit. And there you go. I've now signed in as my IAM user. And this time, multi-factor authentication was enabled. After I entered my password, I had to enter the multi-factor authentication code. This is how you enable multi-factor authentication for an IAM user. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.